Hey everyone, this is Chris Crazy House, and I want to talk about somewhat of a deep subject, but it's not, it won't seem deep to my audience because I talk about things like this all the time, especially on social media. And I know my audience will be able to handle it, but I am sure, just based on the title of this video, it's going to find its way to someone who is prone to not thinking and is just prone to going along with whatever the zeitgeist is and whatever the mainstream says. But I'm going to let you know this. I'm not part of the mainstream, nor have I ever been, and I'm not seeking mainstream acceptance, so there's nothing for you to cancel me or ban me from. So I'm going to be able to speak my mind freely, and I know people who are opposed to this will they have a problem with people having any type of freedom of speech or any type of freedom of thinking even. So basically what I wanted to talk about is what black content creators can learn from the whole comics gate thing. And once again, trying to explain it the best I can, comics gate is accused of being a collection of bigoted, racist, sexist, toxic masculinity, misogynist artists and creators who want to control their interest and their loves and what they like in the comic book industry. That's what is considered. And the one, the one reason I say they're accused of this is because Based on what I've seen on the internet and in social media, almost anyone could be accused of being in Comics Gate and it's almost used as like a, it's almost like the, the communist witch hunts that they used to have in the 1950s where you, just, you, you could be, you just have a certain opinion some way and you automatically get accused of being a communist. The same way anyone who has an opinion might be accused of being homophobic or whatever. You know, you, like, people can't have an opinion on anything these days without being considered uh, something bad or bigoted or whatever, right? And I think in a society that's supposed to be intelligent, I would assume people could have their own opinions and people just decide what they want to do based on this person's opinion. Now, obviously, being a black male, I do not support any type of outward bigotry, but I'm also not a black man who begs white people to love and accept him either. Because I've seen some black people on a lot of these message boards and groups that pertain to black content creators, you know, getting their panties in a bunch based on Comics Gate and saying how, oh, this artist is Comics Gate and this creator is Comics Gate and this company needs to not support any creator that's involved in Comics Gate, I don't get into that. And you've never seen me do that on any of my social media platforms. For one thing, I don't care. But for another thing, I'm not, I would never trample on someone else's, uh, want to trample on someone else's opinion and try to change their opinion of me if they have this sort of mindset. They could either get to know me or they could just live in their ignorance. I don't want to waste my time trying to convince somebody who either hates me or who has no humanity in and of themselves to try and like me. I'm not going to waste my time doing that. I'd rather just push forward and do my own thing. And that's kind of the mindset that a lot of people who quote-unquote are considered comments gate actually have, is that they, don't, they feel that they don't fit into the new paradigm of what the comic books industry is trying to push with some of its diversity casting and hiring and also maybe pushing certain political agendas that a lot of classic fans are not comfortable with. And you know what? I have no problem with that. I think that that's a mindset that black creators need to follow. There is certain stories that we want to tell there are certain stories that we want to 
see portrayed either in comic books or in pop culture. I think we should have solidarity within ourselves to do that and be fans of the things that we create. Because a lot of these people in Commonsgate, you know, they'll put up a Kickstarter or any type of crowdfunding, and that thing is not just funded, but overfunded in a short amount of time. And that just shows how these people are, are on code and will automatically support someone who they consider one of their brethren or someone who they consider pushing the or holding the flag for their beliefs. And I, I can do nothing but respect that. I feel black content creators should have the same mentality. When one of us puts up a, a, some content for sale or one of us puts up some crowdfunding, you know, I, I feel bad sometimes when I see a lot of black content creators put up crowdfunding and they struggle to get that support that they truly need. And, you know, I can kick in some money here and there, but, you know, I, I'm not rich, so I can't obviously fund every project. I do the best I can to support, give a little bit to everybody. Or if I see someone put out a product, I do my best to try to support it and, and buy it and maybe even advertise it a bit on my social media platforms. But it shouldn't be just me. It shouldn't be me that sees this as it's not just uh, it's not just creating comics. It's not just creating images. It's a movement. And if nothing else, that's what Comicsgate has become. Even even the people who are against it have solidified it. They've they've they're one they're ones really who have given it more of a concrete status and made it a movement. And I think black content creators can learn from that. We shouldn't be so concerned and always trying so hard to be part of the mainstream. Like we think we're only successful if we are accepted by the mainstream or <clears throat> accepted by one of the big two companies. If we get a job there, we think that we've made it. It shouldn't be that way. We should not have that mindset. Like I saw a whole bunch of black people cheering that. I can't remember what the brother's name is, but they got black guy now working with DC trying to clean up the mess that others have made. And and that's a shame that that so now so it's like now you can give a, a black man a job, a higher end job at DC and in a, a power position only because things have gone so bad. <laughs> you know, like they always want to give us the leftovers, always want to give us the helm when the ship is sinking. And see what we can do with it. And then if it, if, if it completely fails, then we'll get all the blame, too. Which I don't see how a lot of black people don't realize that. They always fall into that trap. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, we should not. We should be more celebrating each other. Celebrate projects that you see from black creators that you love. Like I said, I want to put more into. Like, I've done some reviews of some black projects. I haven't posted them up yet because I want to get all the images and the videos ready. But I've already done some audio where I've reviewed different black content out there. And I've even bought a whole bunch during this whole quarantine that I want to present to you guys. So I think that is the way to go. And if a bunch of people who you consider ignorant bigots can have solidarity within each other and don't care what the mainstream says and still have success, then I think we could achieve easily achieve the same thing. Because even our... Our content is all not about excluding really anybody or trying to hurt anybody. It's about showcasing our stories and showcasing our talent. And I think we could do better if we have solidarity and, and, and mindset and stay on code that way. I mean, you guys let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. Once again, I'm sure I'll get some idiots or whatever, but I don't really pay them much attention. They can say whatever they want and they can accuse me of whatever they want. It doesn't hurt my feelings. I'm not dependent on them for a paycheck, so they don't hurt me whatsoever. And I want more of my brothers and sisters who create content to be the same way and to be free in the same way where they don't feel like they have to cater to a mainstream audience or try to get mainstream acceptance in order for them to be popular or for their content to be taken seriously. We can enjoy and love it amongst each other and still be great. Anyway, you guys let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. Chris Crazy House, signing out. Peace.